Hi Aquarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Aquarius is going to be one of their true intentions and love. I hope you guys are all well. And we're going to use the Cosmic deck today to switch things up. Yeah, we are because it's a totally different deck. Yeah, we want some new vibes. Yep. And see so we got for you and your person. These are general reads, Aquarius, so they can be switched back and forth, right? And let's see first how you guys are seeing yourselves. Yeah, not one another. We're going to find out about that typically in the extended yeah so let's see what we have and let's see how you are seeing uh yourselves yeah let's see what we got and yeah, aquarius usually sees themselves as the king of swords right <laughs> but we're going to see the other energies as well right let's see what we got show me how aquarius is seeing themselves please and we have the eight of cups so aquarius this is like reckoning with a failure this is kind of like realizing that something's like over all right yeah that's what that is usually it's kind of it's uh this lady's really stressed right that's it's really what the eight of cups is it's like recognizing that something's over or that you failed or you think you failed let's look at your person's energy and see how they see themselves see how they see themselves yeah the lady's here wiping her brow like oh shit right and yeah like what am i going to do and you can tell she's got tension the Three of Cups is your person's energy. This is creation and change. That's what that is uh, in this deck. They're seeing themselves as going through change. And you're seeing yourself as like, uh, I feel like reckoning with an ending. Let's see here real quick. Uh, the Eight of Cups is broken heart. Oh, disappointment and failed endeavor. Yes, yeah, so I was saying like a failed endeavor. You could be Aquarius seeing yourself as having a broken heart. I hope not. Hope it's just maybe, you know, a disappointment. Three of Cups is your person's, uh, you know, kind of self-vibe or, you know. And they have creation, change, and conception. So they think they're going through some changes here. Let's go ahead and clarify those. Why does Aquarius feel like they're in, in the Seven of Wands? Yeah, you're. I feel like you're resisting an ending here. Or you feel super overwhelmed, maybe heartbroken, maybe just disappointed. Your person is seeing themselves as a Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups. They're seeing themselves as like conceiving this beginning in love. They are. That's how they're seeing themselves. So watch your person. Ten of Swords at the same time. OMG. Your person looks like they have a new beginning in love and an ending. So we're going to find out what that's about, right, as we kind of, you know, progress into the reading. And let's see. And let's see what we have for it. Aquarius, please, and their person, and we're using the Cosmic Deck, and your recent past energy, Taurus, was the Hermit reversed, or just the Hermit, the Four of Wands, and let's see here, I kind of decide if I'll read these in the reverse, because these cards are different, they are not like the other deck that everybody uses, no, they're not, the Moon card is your Person's past energy, they have the tower, OMG, with the moon. And the lovers is their challenge, oh God. And the four of pentacles is what they want. They want to hold on to something. And the ace of cups is what they're afraid of. Your person here is like, I feel like you, uh, I feel like you're like kind of maybe breaking up with this person. Or things aren't working out, either one. Maybe it's not really over yet. So let's see what the Hermit has to say in the deck, right? It could be a Virgo here that's kind of maybe in your life, possibly. Let's see what the, the Hermit says, uh, which is the number nine, I believe. Let's see. A Hermit lives in the mountains at his feet, a light in form of a lantern. Seclusion, solitude, wisdom, cleverness, distance. Mm-hmm self-control it's not really about uh soul searching so much it's somebody who kind of already knows yeah but they're in seclusion right it's in the reverse maybe you have been in, in seclusion and you kind of already know maybe all about this person here because you are definitely overwhelmed about this person and the four of wands is your current energy here mm -hmm. see what that's about uh, we have <clears throat> Completion, wow, the Four of Wands is a completion. It's really interesting because it's usually not, but uh, it can be a rejection, though, in the other deck, It can, which is which can definitely be a completion. 
the Four of Wands, uh, four white roses flourish between four of wands, speaks to completion, rise, clarification. Yeah, kind of uh, opposite energies, right? Rise, clarification, peace, joy of life, fury, love. Yeah, I feel like you are like... Uh, I feel like you have clarity that something's that's that something's ending here. I feel like you do. Mm -hmm. Because this is a completion, the energy you're in now, right? And clarity, both. They both mean that. And the hermit, I feel like you figured it out in the past. Maybe you were in solitude about this person. Let's get a card on the Four of Wands, because for me it is, you could have a rise, like you could be rising kind of at the same time knowing that you're clear about something and that it's over. I feel like that's what that is because the lady is kind of rising on her. She's kind of doing a, a yoga move. Let's see. The Hierophant. I feel like it's about your marriage. Maybe it's about Taurus, Aquarius. The Nine of Cups. I feel like you have a completion here. And you could be, you could know that your person has somebody. I feel like that's it. Yeah, you know that your person has this Nine of Cups and you are rising kind of like with your with your clarity, you know it's over. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles is your challenge, right? And the Six of Cups. Somebody from your past you're dealing with. And the Six of Pentacles, yeah, let's have a look here. It is because it's different. And we have uh, Six Pentacles appear above him. The man spreads his arms out on top of a rock. Success, stability, gifts, right, timing, generosity. I feel like your person's success and uh, stability, gifts, right timing. I feel like your person has, I just feel like they have somebody else and you have clarity on it. And this is your challenge. If they're, they have success with somebody else. And I feel like your person is somebody from your past. Like this is your ex who might, who has, is having success with somebody else. I feel like you have clarity about it. Why is the hermit there for Aquarius? Interesting read two of pentacles so in the past you were going back and forth maybe because they this person has a virgo or maybe they're a virgo but i feel like you were going the, in the past you were going back and forth about them you could have been in seclusion but you figured it out the hermit in, in this deck is somebody who comes to a conclusion it's not just somebody who is soul searching this person like they find they find the light they they get their insight with with the lantern and here you are all about clarity about them the ace of pentacles is what you wanted or want with them. So you want do uh, you want this stable like opportunity with them and the four of cups. I feel like you want them to reject somebody else or you feel rejected. I feel like you do feel rejected and yeah. I feel like you do because right away you're reckoning a failure, like a disappointment, maybe a broken heart, and you have the seven of wands where you're super overwhelmed about it. Let's look at the four of cups here and see uh Let's look at the Ace of Pentacles in this deck and see if they have kind of wavered on it. And it's a little different for them. Wealth, riches, fertility, perfection, dowry. Per dowry is like when you marry somebody and you get some money. Um, personal talent and personal task. I feel like you wanted uh, like a fertile situation with somebody. And like you wanted like uh, a stable situation with them. Where there was some type of, you know, stable finance, financial stability. Uh, I feel like you wanted that with them, but, you know, you feel like you're being rejected here. Yeah, you're majorly disappointed. The four, the ace, the four of Cups is about disappointment. And this is this energy here, too, the Eight of Cups. This is how you're seeing yourself. You're really disappointed by somebody here. I feel like it's because they have somebody else. Your person is seeing yourself, seeing themselves as going through change and having a brand new beginning in love, Ace of Cups, uh, like followed up by the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, uh, it's like the Ace of Cups is first for them. I feel like they have a new beginning in love, and they're also after some ending. They could have broken up with somebody, and now they're having a new beginning with somebody. Or they broke up with you, and now they have a new beginning with somebody. Either one. That's how they're seeing themselves. The Moon is their energy with the Chariot card and the Eight of Swords. So your person feels really stuck, like they kind of don't, you know, they have some fear. Maybe they can't see a way out. Uh, you know, maybe there's one way out for them, something like that, but they feel really restricted. It's about victory. Maybe they are cancer. Maybe it's about overcoming a situation. Maybe they are cancer. The moon and the chariot card here. Interesting both. Let's let's see what the moon has to say. It's also different. It is a little bit different in this reading. 
they're showing the giant crab here uh, yeah it is a crab and let's see it looks like a lobster there let's look at the moon and uh, attracted by the forces of the moon a crayfish I uh, beg your pardon it's a crayfish that's why it looked different mm -hmm. a crayfish crawls out of a lake meaning the unconscious hidden mental power to forget oneself wow salvation mercy great love this is your person's energy I feel like your person here uh, was dealing like I feel like they you know they could have been in this energy where they were feeling forgetting all about themselves because they wanted victory with somebody else wow your person might have felt stuck because their person is cancer. I mean, it could be a few things here. These are cards, right? But they could have been dealing with a cancer and they felt really like uh, a cancerian, right? They feel really stuck. I feel like your person wanted victory with somebody in the recent past. I feel like your person's having victory with somebody right now, Ace of Cups. And I, I can't say that it's you. I feel like you're leaving them here. You might have victory with somebody else too. You could, Aquarius. You could. You could be having victory with somebody, but I feel like whatever this is, you are looking at your situation with this particular person as a failed endeavor. Yeah, you are. And uh, interesting here. Mm -hmm. Super interesting with these particular cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hidden mental power, the unconscious. This is your person's energy. Mm hmm. Your person, I feel like, was all in their was all in their intuition about somebody. Mm -hmm. A secret. The secret is showing up here too. Drunkenness and hyster hysteria. Interesting, right? Yeah, your person here, I feel like, uh, had a secret in the past. I feel like they had a secret and they felt really stuck. Uh, Eight of Swords. I feel like they wanted to have victory with the same secret. Like your person never told you. The Tower card is their energy now. And, uh, wow, the third eye, the eye of Horus, is, is uh, eyeing down on the tower. Interesting here. Eye of Horus uh, was an Egyptian god, I believe. Let's see what we have. It's all about, like, protection and intuition. Let's look at, uh, let's look at the tower here in this deck. OMG, you know it's different, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and the eye of God. Okay, they called Horus God. Uh, I guess in Egypt, the eye of God shoots out lightning bolts. This is, you know, this could have been centuries ago, right? For sure it was. The eye of God shoots out lightning bolts. One of them sets a tower on fire. OMG. This is your person's energy. Like they're setting something on fire here or, or they want something to tumble. Two people and a crown. Yeah, to set... The, the eye of God, excuse me, guys, shoots out lightning bolts. One of them sets a tower on fire. Two people in a crown tumble down into the deep meaning, force change, breakdown, ruin, flight. Your person is going through some force change here and some type of, yeah, and because of an ending, the death card, I feel like this force change is, I feel like your person's manifesting something with somebody. Their challenge is the lovers. Your person looks like they are like, with the Emperor, maybe they're Aries. They could be, you know, Scorpio here with the Death card and the Tower, both. I feel like your person is like, I feel like your person's in another situation. And you guys could be breaking up maybe for that. But I feel like you are hoping things could work out with this person because, you know, whenever we have disappointment, uh, this Eight of Cups is disappointment, and this Four of Cups in this deck is disappointment. I feel like you, you know, you wanted it to work with them, Aquarius, but things are not working out here. I just feel like your person is going through some type of an ending here. Uh, but I feel like it's to have, maybe that's with you, but I feel like they're going through an ending, uh, but it's to rebuild something or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Let's get a card. Uh, the star card was right there. Maybe that was you. Why is that death card there? Oops. Let's see, I'm dropping cards here. Okay, and let's see what we have. The King of Pentacles. Your person might be this Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but it looks like there's a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and, you know, maybe Taurus. Could be anybody here, but it does look like there's a lot of water energy here, 
and uh, the King of Pentacles is now showing up. I feel like there's some type of force change here for your person. Five of Cups, they're grieving something. Mm -hmm. This could be somebody they're dealing with, though. It could. Maybe your person's grieving this ending with you. Their challenge is the lovers. And, you know, these people are really into each other, right? Super into each other. The Justice card. Your person might need somebody to get a divorce here. This person could be the person they're dealing with who's grieving and ending. Your person might be dealing with somebody who, like, had to end their situation to be with them. And this could be about you, Taurus. You might be married. I mean, not Taurus, Aquarius. You could be married to this person, the Hierophant. You might be married to them. And the Justice card is here now in their challenge. You, is For some of you guys, you could be in this marriage and maybe they had to end it with you in order to be with somebody else. But I just feel like uh, you might have a wish here too. This is a really interesting reading. It really is. But for sure, you're feeling like your union with this person is over and it was a major disappointment to you. Yeah. Your person, and maybe, you know, maybe they're grieving that you have a King of Pentacles here. And that's why it's ending. That could be the, that could be the, you know, yeah, that could be, you might have a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and that's why there is forced change here. The Lovers and the Justice card in their challenge, and the Three of Cups. They think you want to reunite with somebody, or you have a third party that you're, like, building with, something like that. This reading is about two people who are kind of uh, going through major changes, but look how your person is seeing themselves. Ace of Cups. So your person is seeing themselves as going through change, I feel like, and having a new beginning of love after some harsh ending, maybe with you, right? But they could also, you know, your person might have went through some ending with somebody else. <clears throat> this reading could go either way. It really could. Interesting. It's definitely about a breakup here. And I feel like both of you guys could be kind of cheating. You could have been kind of cheating here. Mm-hmm. You might want somebody here too, Aquarius. You might have really wanted, this is your wish, this Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're, you're acknowledging there's a completion here. You're dealing with either heartbreak or a major disappointment <clears throat> or reckoning with failure. And your challenge is somebody from your past. <clears throat> the Four of Pentacles is showing up with the Ten of Pentacles. This is what your person... This is uh, <clears throat> what they want. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. It looks like uh, a rich man with, you know, a young woman in a restaurant. These cards are highly interesting. Let's see what their take on the Four of Pentacles is. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> My voice never really goes back to goes back to normal because of these readings. OMG. <clears throat> I might have to really give it up. Temporarily. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> See what that's about. And we have in in his country house. Oh, this is oh it is, yeah. It looks like they're in a restaurant, but this guy this guy has like an estate. Is a rich man. Yeah, in his country house. An elderly man in a domineering posture. Yeah, he has a young woman. He's a rich man, meaning power, love for material prosperity, legacy, gift, great talent, clinging to property. Yeah, your person uh, wants some type of financial stability with somebody. I feel like they do. The Ten of Pentacles. I feel like they want a commitment with somebody who's financially stable. OMG. Maybe this this reading's over. Be, I mean, this you're reckoning with failure. Maybe you're leaving your person here. <clears throat> because your person, it's also possible they could be seeing the completion because you have somebody, right? You have this Ace of Cups with somebody else, Aquarius. Yeah, your readings are always a little uh, intricate. I, I have to say that. They always are, yeah, for you guys. Are you guys, are you guys complicated? All right, don't be complicated, Aquarius. All right? <laughs> 
Uh, I'm a fire sign. We don't like complicated things. I feel like we don't. No. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> well, you guys are the king of swords, right? Which is all about intelligent and wit, which can talk about complication, right? You can't be complicated if you're really dumb. And you guys, you know, rule, rule intelligence. You really do. Let's see what your person wants. The seven of cups <clears throat> or what they're hoping for. I feel like your person could be hoping uh, either that they're making the right choice or they want somebody to choose them. Your person wants a commitment here or they want, fi I feel like they want financial stability. I feel like they do. That's important to them. The Hermit card, they might want a Virgo because right away, where's that Virgo card at? Right away, your energy is the Two of Pentacles and the Hermit card. You could be going back and forth about whether or not they want a Virgo. Yeah, these readings can be that simple. And the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to give and take with somebody. And the challenge is the Six of Pentacles for you, which is regarding about somebody from the past. I feel like your person wants to return to somebody from their past. I feel like you're reckoning with failure about them. And uh, maybe you do too, though. You could be wanting to return to somebody from your past, but you know this relationship is over, right? And in your fear, let's go back to your energy. The Eight of Cups is what you're fearing or doubting. This is a relationship in this reading, in this deck. It's a, it's, yeah. And this is what you're fearing or doubting, the Eight of Cups uh, resignation. Yeah, you're afraid somebody's going to give up on you. Excessive interruption. Mm-hmm. You're for reason before feeling like somebody's going to make a, a, a decision here based on just logic, right? Uh, yeah, you don't base uh, typically love decisions on... I feel like you're afraid somebody's going to resign. Like somebody's maybe even at work, you could be afraid somebody's going to resign. Uh, but you could be afraid that somebody's leaving you here. Because you definitely, Aquarius, you're dealing with a failure and you know it. The King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're afraid somebody's resigning, kind of leaving. The Ace of Cups is what your person is fearing themselves. Like they're not going to have a new beginning in love. They're looking at their money bush. Maybe they're, I feel like they're right here. Your person is just kind of uh, wondering if they're going to have a new beginning in love. This is an interesting reading. We're going to go find out all about your person, Aquarius. We're going to see how they feel about you, the underlying energies, what's most important to them, how they're seeing the situation. Yeah, I want to see all that. What they hide. Uh, what they fear. We're going to look at their desires one more time because this is a, I feel like this is a reading about two people who both have somebody else for some of you guys. Thank you so much. You're all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys.